kaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan
Liga Pilipinas Basketball League. Labay nagkakaisa Luson, Visayas, Mindanao Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang bakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat Sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang lagi Sigawan na yung mayanig 
kapag nag three points na bawat bay ay di pa tatalo buong barangay ay suportado kahit ano ang mangyari sama-sama tayo basketball na muna tayo iwasan na ang mga bisyo isports ang laging iisipin sa droga ay wag Pilipinas Basketball League Mula rito sa isang makasaysayang gymnasium, isa sa mga pinakamagagandang eskwela dito sa Pilipinas, ang Ateneo Blue Eagle Gym. Inihahatid namin sa inyo ang ikalabing limang araw ng ating torneo, ang MPBL Datu Cup. Magandang gabi mga kapamilya. Double header tayo ngayong uh, Thursday, unang laro ang Mandaluyong El Tigre Dataland kontra sa Pasig Pirates Gameville sa unang laro at ang Quezon City Capitals Black Mamba kontra sa Jensen, Jensen yeah. Golden State Warriors. At narinig nyo na nga ang isa sa mga legends dito sa Ateneo, ang nag-iisang coach JV Gayoso. Ang daming memories ang nag-flash sa'yo kanina yeah. nung pagpasok mo. Lahatid namin sa inyo ngayon. Ang unang laro, ang Pasig Pirates, kontra nga dito sa Mandaluyong El Tigre. Para magkaiba ang pinanggalingan ng ruta nitong dalawang kapunan, Coach JV. Oh, nga, very exciting ball game, you know. Gusto ko makita kung paano na mag-a-adjust ang Pasig. In preparation for this very tough team in Mandaluyong, makikita natin sa ating team standings. Mandaluyong 1-1, sadly losing on the first game. Ang Pasig naman still looking for their very first mga pirata. Sana makakuha na ngayon sa gabing ito ang kanilang unang panalo. At yun nga, yun ang hinahanap nila nung nakaraang laro ng mga pirata. Natalo sila sa kanilang home court. Puntahan muna natin itong uh, ating game story. Dalawang kupunan, magkabilang bakod lang yan. Halos iisang kali ang uh, pinag uh, naghihiwalay sa dalawa last game performance ng Mandaluyong El Tigre coach JV. O nga mega dispute talaga ito eh dami na lang kasong na, 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 pinagharapan. Ngayon sa basketball court naman sila magsas maglalaban in our first ball game. Ito uh, Mandaluyong defeated Sambuanga 71-61, Prince Rivero with 18 points, Ray Ray Parks MPBL record ang kanyang naigawa, 15 assists all-out performance for him. At the PNP, yan ang magdadala ng laban para dito sa Mandaluyong El Tigre, Prince Silvero, Ray Ray Parks. Sa kabilang banda naman, ang double M ng Pasig Pirates. Yan ang naman nananalasa para sa kanilang Mark Carongoy at Marlon Monte. Pero coach, kapos pa rin sila nung nakaraan nilang laro sa kanilang bahay. Well, aminado naman ang kanilang coach at that time na hindi pa sila condition and they made sure that they will prepare well for the coming games. Titignan natin kung may pinagbago na nga ang conditioning ng Pasig Pirates. At ito, ipasa muna natin kay Gianna Lianes, ang ating pangatlong miyembro ng PANA. Gianna, anong updates mo para sa amin? Martin and JV para kay Pasig Pirate Coach James Machate. Yung pagmahal na natang up nila from their home court last game is motivation enough for them to win this one. Para daw hindi sila maiwan ng bilis ng El Tigre for this game, sinigurado niya na kondisyon ang kanyang players with CrossFit and circuit training this past week. Wala ay isa sa mga key players niya during the last game na si Ron J. Enrile, pero kompleto na daw ang lineup niya for this game. For Mandaluyong naman daw, Big Mac and Daya is not going to be present today. Back to you guys. 
Filipinos Basketball League Datu Club. For the first match tonight, it's the Basic Pirates Gameville going up against the Mandaluyong El Tigre Dataland. And now let's meet the starting lineups. First, for the Basic Pirates Gameville. At point guard number eight, Boyet Bautista. At power forward number 13, Mix Castellano. At shooting guard number 14, Kenneth Caramoy. Playing center number 20, Jay Aryasa. And at small forward number 22, Jonathan Aldave. The head coach for the Basic Pirates, Gaville, is James Machate. And now, here are the starters for the Mandaluyong El Tigre Dataland. At point guard number 13, Jonathan Boholano. At center number 10, Zalos Lozada. At power forward number 9, Prince Rivero. Small forward number 3, Kian Abrigo. And at shooting guard number one, Bobby Ray Marks Jr. The head coach for the Mandaluyong El Tigre Dataland is Mac Kuei. Officials for the ball game are George Serapia, Ray Delina, and Abel. Para starters, para sa El Tigre Boholano, Parks, Lozada, Abrigo, at Rivero. Para naman sa Pirates, Bautista, Aldave, Yasa, Carongoy, at etong si Castellano. Coach JV, interestingly, para sa Pasig Pirates, tatlo sa kanilang starters bago. Oo nga, at much needed talaga because they they have very few players lang sa kanilang lineup in the previous two games that they've played. They really need help. I, I'm, I, I'm excited to see kung paano makakatulong itong tatlong players na nakuha pa nila, na itagtag nila. At ito, nag-turnover sila agad. Ray Parks nakakuha ng uh, stop. Medyo mintis yung tira na yun. Matatawagan dito na loose ball foul. Itong si Boy at Bautista. Ay, si Riri Parks medyo na-frustrate dun sa mintis niyang layup. Well, I'm noticing that Ray Ray Parks is often uh, parang babying his shot. Uh -huh. You know, I, I, that's the confidence. It's not arrogant. It's more of like just being confident knowing that he, 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 it's tough for him to really outshine everyone, everyone in this league because sa, mga, sa pinanggalingan niyang paglalaro. Medyo humble pa nga niya kanyang kilos at nakakatuwa naman. But still, coach would like you to always go strong every opportunity oh, you definitely. get. Oh, definitely. And uh, he started where he left off last game. Ray Parks with a three-point shot. MPBL record, 15 assists. Mas maigi atang pinatira na lang yung two points kesa oh, yung oh, pese, eh. no? Ito, maganda rin yung defense sa kanila. Castellano, naghahanap ng mapapasahan dito. Boyet Bautista, pinapressure ni Boholano. Stepping on the oh, line. Stepping on the line. Oh, yan. Pinapressure ni Boholano. Hindi na natin masasabing size 12 yung paa. Oo, oh, eh, medyo maganda yung pressure. Maganda, maganda na talaga yung defense. <laughs> maganda na yung defense. Gusto ko yun, napansin mo pa yung size ng paa. Ito, Janos Lozada ngayon. Naghahanap ng... Swing, dito kay Boholano, UCLA screen para kay Prince Rivero, ISO. Ray Ray Parks turning the corner and pulling up, gets his own rebound, gets the foul and the basket. Swabing swabing lang, makahirap-hirap para kay Ray Ray Parks. Well, two things that, that uh, passing Pirates forgot to do. One, challenge the shot, and two, box him out. Tignan mo, hindi sinanin siya tira at hindi pa siya binax out. Oo, hindi pin Long rebound din kasi. Hindi, hina, hindi pa lang humanap doon sa katawan ni Ray Ray Parks para ilayo siya doon sa offensive rebound. Mukhang na pati sila, hanga sila, na pinanonood na lang kung ano ang gagawin ni Ray Parks. Yan ang pinakaayaw mo as a coach, of Coach Ravy. You don't want your players to be watching whenever there is a free ball na 50-50 ball na makukuha. Ito, nakakuha pa na isang agaw si Ray Ray Parks. And softly finishes above the rim. So, Quick 7 to 0 start para sa Mandaluyong El Tigre. Ito yung magandang agaw ni Ray Parks. Papunta rito sa maaga ring timeout ng Pasig Pirates. 7 to 0. Ray Ray Parks ang lahat ng nag-score.
At balik tayo dito sa ating laro. Maaga yung uh, atake. At magandang simula para dito sa Mandalo yung El Tigre. Carefree Ray Park, 7 points, 2 boards, and the one steal na agad. Masisimula pa lang natin. Wala pang dalawang minuto ang nakalipas doon. At magandang early offense dito. Prince Rivero being rewarded. No one challenging or preventing the outlet pass to be made by passing. Ito, major adjustments kailangan gawin ng passing. They need to learn as the, the, the tournament progresses. Ano? Outlet pass, especially with the running team, prevent the outlet to be made or else their break will just kill you. Ito magandang depensa talaga ng uh, Mandaluyong. They've been uh, doing a human's job. Lahat sila, lalo na to si Boholano, pressuring Boyet Bautista and getting a turnover sa kanya kanina. Tapos ngayon, nakakuha rin sila ng offensive foul. What a luxury talaga to have, ano? Martin, itong Mandaluyong, lahat sila kasi quick-footed sila. They all are eager to play tough defense and they're not they're not rushing anything they're just covering spaces hoping for a turnover which happens because right now ang pag pag protection ng bola nitong pasig very questionable they're not doing anything yung major harassment it's just that lagi silang nakatapat sa tao at magagandang dalawang agaw na para agad dito sa Mandalu yung El Tigre Ray Ray Parks finishing high in the sky great lob pass there Nine points for Ray Ray. Kojak Milagrito splitting the double. Dian Abrigo staying his ground. And uh, getting a turnover na na. Itong uh, yung magandang pasa ni Luzada. Papunta kay Ray Ray Parks. Basic basketball. Oo nga. No? Talagang tinitignan lang nila kung sino may advantage. And at this moment, Ray Parks is the one with full advantage. Another alley-oop there. Ito maganda yun. Extra pass pa niya kay Abrigo. Sayang, patira na yun. Pwede nang buhati ni Gian Abrigo. Pero maganda intention ni Ray Parks because yun pa lang ang stats na wala siya. Assist. Assist. Oo nga. Talagang mukhang gagawa ng record na naman ito. In our previous games, mabanggit ko lang, 15 assists. Our MPBL record yan, set by Ray Parks. Ito, handshake ang itinawag kay Gian Abrigo. Oh, trying to push him out. First down for Stephen. Si uh, Mix Castellano, dating magkakampiyan sa Quezon City Capitals. Parehas na lumipat, Castellano ngayon nasa Pasig Pirates. Ang si Gian Abrigo nasa Mandaluyong El Trigre. And Powerade, the official hydration partner of the MPBL Datu Cup. Getting a stop here. Kailangan na mas maraming stops itong uh, Pasig Pirates. Ooh. Resulting into a turnover nga lang. Sayang yun. At pasa muna natin kay Gianna Lianes. Gianna. Star-studded nga ang Mandaluyong El Tigre, pero Jonathan Boholano makes sure hindi siya na-intimidate dito. Sabi niya na his focus is being a role player to help his teammates. Tapos bonus na lang ang points. Isa sa mga pampagana niya before the game is eating chocolate any kind daw. As for expectations para sa laro ngayon, alam niya na gutom ang Pirates para sa panalo, kaya hindi sila magpapaawat. Martin and JV? At gutom na gutom nga. Itong Pirates makakuha ng kanilang unang panalo pero unang sultada naka-discarte agad itong uh, Mandaluyong ng uh, magandang simula. And Ray Ray Parks nga ang nagpauna sa atin. Anim na turnover para sa Pasig. Malaking numero yan. And the sad part about it, Martin, ito nakakos sila ng turnover against Mandaluyong pero hindi nila nakakapitalize. Nadula sila ng ilang beses. Abrigo going strong. Strong na strong and the floater goes in for Gian Abrigo. Pero tayong 6 na minuto, 18 segundo. Marlon Monte, maganda kang inilaro niya nung nakaraang laro. Pero ang nangyayari dito sa Pasig kasi, panay one-on-one -on -one ang atake nila. Kaya hirap silang kumuha ng punto. Kasi ito, nakastop pa ang uh, Pandaluyong. Ooh, Castellano throwing Rivero down. Talagang maganda pagkaipit sa kanya ni Prince Rivero. Oh, maganda yung early seal eh. Yep. Importante yun. Pero I wanna go back to, to what you mentioned, Martin. Ano, panay one-on-one -on -one nga itong Pasig and that's something they need to work on. But uh, their focus right now at priority nila is working together on defense. Never mind the offense muna. Depensa muna tayo because right now everybody's taking advantage of their weak uh, team defense. And then illegal screen. Called by our official on Prince Rivero. 
Six out of nine para sa Mandaluyong. 66% and zero out of four. Para dito sa Pasig Pirates. Monte, pasa dito kay Birdson Franco. Franco, nabarahan ni Prince Rivero. Kojak Milegrito ngayon. Familiar sidestep move. Mintes Rivero para sa rebound. Maaagaw yan ni Marlon Monte. Ididiin nila sa ilalim. Yasa with an offensive rebound. Mabibitaw ng bola at babalik dito. I don't, I don't understand why they keep bringing it in to put themselves in a situation na matcha-challenge sila. At saka dito mga talun yung mga big guys ng Mandaluyong, yeah. nakataas lang yung kamay. Nakataas eh. lang. Might as well take those outside shots to get yourself going. O, kakasabi mo lang, itong si uh, Boholano. Nakashoot na ng three points itong si John Boholano. Another turnover for the Pasig Pirates. Balik ang bola dito sa Mandaluyong. Gulpi di gulat agad yun nakuha nila eh. I don't I don't know if you agree with me no. If if you kung sandali lang kayo nag training, might as well focus every single day on defense because that can give you opportunities to run the break once you get the ball, steal, tough defense, no offensive rebound, no second chance points given to your opponents. Pasig should focus on team defense right now in the for the next couple of days in preparation for their next game. Team pocket pass don ni Ray Ray Parks tinawagan ng dribbling violation. Dahil, uh, yun, pinapakita na niya na pinaiktosan lang daw niya. Pero iba yung kita ng ating referee. That's a turnover for Ray Ray. Ito yung half-court zone press nila. Kanina pa nagbibigay ng magagandang opportunities dito sa Mandalo yung El Tigre. Uh, Marlon Monte. Kakasabi mo lang, try the long range shot. Nakakuha oh. sila ng isa. Kasi medyo relax ang Mandalo yung allowing itong passing to take those outside shots. Meron ang patulak dito. Si Yasa. At magandang tingnan itong match-up ni Monte at saka ni Lozada. Medyo nagpapalitan na ng sweet nothings. Oo nga. Kukontak na kanina. John Ray Alabanza, pasok muna rito para kay Prince Rivero. Yung champion din yan sa kasama ni Coach Mack Juan sa Alab Pilipinas. May sarili silang dispute yung dalawa eh. No? Talagang kabitan ng kabitan yung kanilang oh, okay. extra co-curricular activities. Uh Oo. -oh. Okay lang yan. Huwag lang mag ano, wag lang mag Oh, exactly. So, 17-3. Apat na minuto, tatlong po, tatlong segundo. Monte, atakihin ang depensa. Pero merong uh, foul dito si Burns on Franco. Sayang Monte upon receiving that pass. He could have just taken a medium, medium yes. range jumper. Rather than Dinidikin putting... nila sa loob, eh, oh, no? Coach JV. At hindi naman nila kaya because they don't have the height. At hindi rin sila ganun ka-snappy para fuminish doon. Hindi nila nauunahan dahil mabilis sa transition ito, Mandaluyong. Nabanggit nga natin, kaya nga ang defense, napakalupit ng defense na itong Mandaluyong because everybody can move. Mabibili sa mga paan ito mga players ng Mandaluyong. So on the line here, Gianna Brigo. Three points, make that four points and two boards for uh, Gian Abrigo. John Vidal. Pinasok na rito ni Coach Mac Juan. And, uh, Martin, babatingin ko lang. Oh, okay. Ang mga viewers, ang mga viewers dito oh. from Pasig, mga nanonood, supporters ng MPBL from Pasig and from Mandaluyong. Good oh, evening para, to sa inyo. Magandang gabi po dahil live na live yeah. tayo ngayon sa ABS-CBN SNA at sa ating Facebook page sa facebook.com slash official MPBL. And pwede nyo rin po kami i-follow sa Twitter. At sa Instagram, sa official MPBL. Pero turnover na naman sila doon. Uh, hindi talaga makakuha ng rhythm offensively. Itong Pasig uh, Pirates. Pasig. Yeah, they're actually looking to score inside. But Melegrito, great transition defense, anticipating that outlet pass. Makikita nga natin, upon the rebound, itong Mandalu yung two passes, easy layup na sana. Para sa kanilang team. 
At uh, merong update para sa atin si Gianna Lianes. Gianna. Nakita natin si Marlon Monte playing for the Bulacan Cuyas last season. Pero unang beses niya maging highest pointer during the last game for the Pasig Pirates. Kahit may adjustments daw transitioning from one team to another. Sabi niya mas masayang siya ngayon dahil mas malaki ang responsibilidad niya here sa Pasig Pirates. Especially on offense. In his words, they need me more here. A motivation naman ni Marlon para positive thinking palagi. His son and daughter who he loves to share photos of sa kanyang social media. Back to you guys. Nag-turnover doon ang Pasig Pirates. Pero Marlon Monte, double-digit scorer ngayon sa Datu Cup. Close to 12 points per game. Nung nakaraang konferensya, close to 8 points per game lang siya. So, malaking uh, improvement. At siya lang yung uh, bright spot sa opensa. Well, everybody is talagang looking to run because they know Ray Parks will make that outlet. Great defense uh -huh. there by Ray Parks. Going, I believe, for his second steal. Ito, quick steal there. Just anticipating the ball. Immediate outlet for an easy layup. Si John Vidal getting a layup there. Everybody nagaambag dito. Ganda ng performance talaga ito na itong si Ray Parks, no? He does everything on the floor. Nothing flashy, very simple, but gets the job done. Quality talaga ang nabibigay niya. And what's great about that is everybody who plays with him gets a chance to score and gets motivated by that. Medyo meron tayong uh, may kinaklarify dito ng ating mga officials. Well, magandang gabi sa lahat na nakatutok sa atin ngayon. At uh, maraming maraming salamat po. It's a double head for Thursday. And assists ito para sa Mandaluyong. Iisa pa lamang para sa Pasig. Kaya isa pa lang nga, nashoot nilang basket. Pero yun nga, nababanggit mo. Kita mo another attempt there. One on one na naman. So it's easy to defend. Ooh. One of the rare times that hindi na masa ang Mandaluyong. They had four on two. Ito si JP Kawilan. Ten to one rebounding para sa Mandaluyong. And Kojak Meligrito sacrificing his body and taking contact. Well, that's the second time he rushed down on defense, helping his team out. All they need to do now is score points. Dito ngayon ang Pasig. Ron J. Enrique naghahanap ng mapapasaan. Kojak Meligrito. Entry pass sa poste kay Burns on Franco. There's a... What's the call? There's a foul. Away from the ball, I presume, because no contact was made down low as the post stop was being made by Franco. Jeff Havillonar. Ang matatawagan ng foul doon. Burns on Franco nasa free throw line. Oh, so the foul was committed on Franco. Uh, averaging nine and a half points, eight and a half boards. And, uh, one of the veterans played for the PCU Dolphins in the NCAA. Samuel uh, Lot Soriano, Arden Giab. Lakas na kuponan niya nun. And, uh, misses both free throws. The forward pass na naman. Narito kay Kawilan. Vidal, catching, shooting, and missing. Franco para sa liwan. Natapik pa doon ni Kawilan. Points in the paint. Nabing dalawa para sa Mandaluyong. Wala pang nasushoot. Itong Pasig dahil masikpit ng depensa. Di rin sila makasasok sa ilalim. Ito mo nagdaroon. Drop pass na lang. Namintis pa. Franco ngayon. Napayungan. And that's the first score in the point. Para dito sa Pasig Pirates. Lady Parks getting that double high action to go. Ngayon, double high to weave yung atake nila. Nakakuha pa ng libring spasa kung si Vidal. Basic basketball, Coach JV. Simple. Na, na, Nagahanap lang sila ng uh -huh. space to take a clear shot. A shot at the basket. Ano? And simple basketball lang. Like, like I said, they're taking advantage of the lax defense of passing, which is something they need to work on. Pero ito, oh, nasabi ko nga kanina, Coach uh, JV, every time makakapunta si Burns on Franco sa paint, may mga instances na pwede na niyang itira. Yep. But he uh, he is like a Swiss knife. He has so many tools in the toolbox. Minsan gusto niyang gamitin lahat so, gamitin. just to answer one question. Oo nga, totoo yun. You know, he should just go strong. Total, wala nang kumakat sa teammates. Aha. Ito. Vidal ngayon, napapayungan ni Franco. Asa kay Kawila and Alabanza. Wow. Basic basketball, catching it upstairs. Di na binaba. John Ray Alabanza. Main that basket. 20-point lead na to. A minute and 24 remaining. 
One day in dealing it. Trying to get that ball screen to go. Pick and roll action. Melegrito for three. Bintis yung tira, tapikan. Yung bola mananatili sa Pasig. Pirates. Ito, Nicky May. Monte Claro. Isa sa mga mahuhusay nilang guardza. Uh, one of their... Uh, uh, maganda yung nilaro niya nung nakarang laro. Oo nga. It's just a matter of gelling. Ano? Uh -huh. itong, itong players ng Pirates. Itong Mandaluyong ngayon, 16 points on the paint, ha? talagang makikita natin napakadali nilang pasukan ang depensa nitong Pasig. Habang ang Pasig, 2 points pa lang in the paint. We got 4 points sa atake na yun ni Ron J. Etrine. Uh, ito yung atake na ito, baseline of that inbound, windshield wiper move. Taking contact on the body kay Alabanza and finishing off the board. Marami pang naman sa tank itong si uh, Ron Jay. So, pabor lang sana if he finishes off by making this extra shot. Oh. High school MVP, finals MVP for the Letran Knights, two-time champion in the NCAA. Yeah, multay, multay uh, uh, awardee. Nung kung nasa kolehiyo, naglaro yan ng pro. Uh, right now, nandito sa MPBL, isa sa mga veterano ng uh, Pasig. Pirates. Gidal niyan. Drop pass dito kay Alabanza. Swings it to the other side. Matatawagan ng traveling dyan si Kawila. Wala lang mo, Martin. In, in fairness to Pasig, ano, napaka-igsi pa lang ang preparation nila when they really got down and serious. Medyo isang buwan na lang. And that's the reason why yung pagkas, pagsasama nila, yung team chemistry, medyo hindi pa solid. And this is something that they need to work on day after day and not be frustrated because they have the talent in this team. It's just a matter of working together. Uh -huh. Talagang reps lang eh. Oo. Oh, oh. That's how you, you, you would really get better. Tama ka, tama ka. But Franco ngayon against John Ray Alabanza. Franco, left-handed hook. Kumapit sa board yung pectus na yun. And Burns on Franco getting a baby hook to go in. Labing lima itong lamang. Last shot time para sa... El Tigre. Torres wins it too. Vidal, he gets it back. Kunana, nasa loob na rin. Pero stepping dito si Axel Torres. Yung sa sideline natin. Second. Jaka pa siya. Pangalawang basis now. Both teams right now have stepped on the line. And turns on Franco. Missing that baby hook. At matapos ang ating first quarter with Mandaluyong starting strong, sustaining it throughout the quarter. Ang Pasig, pansamantalang sumagot. Patapos na itong quarter natin as Trey Ray Parks ang nanalasa. Siyap na punto sa first quarter natin. And their defense really giving them a lift. Oo, doon talaga nakikita nila na meron silang space na nakakatanggap sa loob. At we will be back 25-10. Pati namin kayo ng magandang gabi at sinasamahan nyo kami rito sa Blue Eagle Gym. Dating tahanan ni Coach JV Gayoso, forever a legend dito sa Ateneo. Hanggang sa covered court set, Coach JV, legend ka rin eh. Ah, uh, yun. Oh, iba naman ang rason kung bakit ako legend ah. doon. Pero dito muna tayo sa Eagle Gym. Uy, six points. <laughs> Para dito kay uh, John Vidal, Marlon Monte. Hirap talaga sila makakuha ng puntos eh. At uh, ito, libre. Kaya na pa naghahanap si Axel Torres ng kanyang tres. Dialed it and booked it. Axel Torres. 
Parang playground basketball na lang ito, Coach uh, JV. Dalawang putong naman. Ito na naman si Bernson Franco. Richard Burgess, supalpal kay Torres. Conche Enrile. Sibuan niyo tres, mintis yun. At double foul kay Javillionar at kay Virtues. Instances like that, sometimes I question. Kasi wala naman yung bola dun. It did not change anything. Mandalu yung had ball possession. I guess it's just a warning for the two guys not to, to stop being extra physical when it's not needed. At uh, muli, binabati natin ang ating mga kasama sa live stream. Magandang gabi, mga kaibigan nating OFW, aking mga malalapit na kaibigan. Uh, Bojo Hader, uh, salamat sa servisyo mo dyan, keeping people safe as a firefighter dun sa Dubai. Ang mga kasama mo dyan, and of course, my former teammate J.R. Texon, na walang sawang nanonood kasama oh. sa kanyang may bahay at ang kanilang baby boy, na sana sing shooter din niya. Yan, good evening sa inyo, okay, enjoy, enjoy the game. Magandang tanghali yata ngayon sa Middle East, hindi ako sigurado kung anong oras dun. Ito dyan, Ray Alabanza. Produkto ng San Beda Red Cubs. Four points. Oh, uh, four points. Produkto ng UE Red Warriors. Nasa kolehiyo na siya. San Beda Red Cubs. Parang binabalikan mo. Opening na sa Sabado. Ay, oo. Oh, Alma uh, mater mo. Ang uh, NCAA Season 94. At ang napakaraming NCAA players dito. Ah. Coach uh, JV. Ito itong tatlo lang na ito na nagpasaan. Ron J. Enrile, former Letran Knight. Umatakin. Agawan lang. Ito daw, nakaagaw naman, former EAC General, Nicky Monteclaro, ipinasa sa former PCU Dolphin na si Burnson Franco. Lahat alumni ng NCAA. Oo nga, ay talaga naman maraming produkto nang gagaling dyan. Mm -hmm. At uh, it's, it, that's why everybody's looking forward to their opening oh, this opening Saturday. Opening ngayong uh, Sabado dahil ang host ng NCAA, ang University of Perpetual Health. At isa pang tinitignan natin na uh, pangmalapit na, yung laban. Pacquiao Matisi sa Akinse ng Julio. Alright. Talaga nagpapakondisyon na nga itong ating uh, Senator uh, Manny Pacquiao. At uh, papapunta na siya sa, I think, next week sa Kuala Lumpur. Oh, more power sa, sa inyo, Senator Manny, sa inyong training. Oh. At uh, palit ng tao dito, uh, si Ann Lim. Kung, uh, making his first, the, I think it's his debut, si Ann Lim, na maglalaro ngayon. And uh, Junjun Bonsubre. Nasa loob din ng laro. And, uh, CN Lim, of course, we know him as an actor, but he also played for the training team, the team B ng University of the East Red Warriors during his college years. Medyo magkasabay kami nito, magkakasingkidad kami. Pero mas magandang lalaki lang nga talaga siya. <laughs> At Nicky Monteclaro ngayon, calling that spread five out na opensa. Ronjay Enrile, attacking, scooping, and finishing. Donje Enrile, meron ng uh, apat na po, uh, limang puntos. Nice move by Sa Enrile, no? Kanina pa yan, going strong. Ang tapang niyang kumilos. At, uh, ta talagang uh, markadong markado na matapang yan si Ronje. At uh, Jojo Kunanan. At ano naman, former JRU heavy bomber. Jojo Kunanan. Oo, oh, mapigat maglaro yan. One of the defensive stoppers nun. Mukhang maganda ball pick niya. Leaving himself free to take that three. No, not oh. challenged at all. Napataligod yung kanyang defender. The Froy Sakilio. Roger and Willie ngayon. Pinasubukang araruhin yung depensa ni Kunanan. Oh, Itong dalawang to magkumpare to ha. Kanina, ah, kanina, over social media, coach uh, JV, as natawagan ng offensive ball si Ron Jay Enrile. Over social media, nag-aalaskahan to. Ah, oh, oh, si Big Mac, si Jojo Kunanan, saka si Ron Jay. Napilitan ako mag-comment, o oh, mga tito, mamaya na kayo magbulahan, tatandaan yun eh. <laughs> Nabanggit mo, Big Mac. Ah, wala wow. pa pala. Oh, Big Mac, medyo... Missing in action. Suspendido. Dahil, ah... Uh, very opinionated. Uh, at talaga siya, nakakatawa. And he can help. And one know? of the more enjoyable players to watch dito. Yeah. Sa Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, Sian Lim, trying to put in a move. The pass and cut for Sian Lim. Okay. Na-travel na lang, sayang. Puntos na sana. Hiyawan yung mga fans. Pero ito, Powerade, the official hydration partner of the MPBL Tattoo Cup. Okay. Well, I want to go back and uh -huh. talk about Big Mac and Daya, you know? If that guy is given more time, more minutes play, playing time, and his teammates know how to make use of his height down low, ang laking effect niya sana sa kanyang ball club, ano? Oh. Sayang eh. At yung isa niyang teammate dati, nung nasa kolehiyo sila, Jonathan Aldave. Nandiyan saan? 
with a nagmintis ng three point shot. Then Big Mac also winning a championship with the Letran Knights. Yon. Na marami rami ako ng si kung nakuha jang kay Big Mac father sa father Martin sa lahat na summer league. Sinabi naman niya sa akin sa sajay niya talaga. Oh, talaga ng sa sajay ni. Pero nakakatuwa yan dahil after na game, hindi mo makuha magalit kasi siya yung unang magjo-joke sa'yo eh. Ito si Yan Lim ngayon, napayungan ng dalawang tao. Matatawagan ng foul. I think this would be on Froy Saquillo. Yes, it would be on Froy Saquillo, the former San Sebastian Golden Stag. Post-up move here by Lim. Oo, oh, ang ganda nung... Uh, Medyo dream shake na galaw eh. Alam mo, nagugulat ako. Biglang nagising ang depensa ng ano, uh -huh. ang, ang ng Pasig Pirates. Pagtangal lang ni Alexander Lim. At tapasan muna natin kay Gianna Lianes. Gianna. Narinig nyo na talagang sumigaw ang ating crowd nung pumasok na sa isa sa ating mga paborito artista na si Sian Lim. Did you know that Sian actually moved here galing states to play basketball? Kaya dream come true talaga itong MPBL. Andun siya sa practice regularly looking up to his teammates as seniors dahil mas experienced talaga sila. Sabi ni Sian, mahal niya talaga ang basketball dito sa Pilipinas dahil para sa lahat at the end of the day, it's how you value and respect each other, each player on the court for one goal. Back to you guys. Bidal ngayon. Sinusubukan nilang mabigyan ng pagkakataon ng iskortong si Sian Lim eh. Yeah, and I like it. Ano, he comes back to play and to get, get himself, well, try, he's trying to get himself back into shape. Yan ang puso na nagdadala sa mga dating player na nabag, nabigyan ulit ng pag-asa dito sa MPBL. Uh, nakakuha ng bahagyang sagot doon. Itong si uh, Gozun, si Mix Gozun. Drop pass dito kay Sian Lim. Napayungan lang ni Mix Castellano. Gusto kong uh, humabol dito ng Pasig dahil hirap na hirap sila makakuha ng puntos. And a uh, great stop there pero may hand check. I think this would be on Sian Lim. Doon sa pag-atake na yun ni Nicky Monteclaro. Labas mo na si Mark Boyat Bautista pasok para kay uh, Nicky Monteclaro. Ray Ray Parks para kay Axel Torres. At uh, Janos Lozada ibinalik na rin sa laro para kay Jojo Kunanan. This, I think, this, this lineup right now that Mandaluyong has inside will actually help si, itong si Lim to get more points because everybody else with him he can go for those offensive rebounds wala nang stress para sa kanya mag-score 16 ito limang minuto 26 na segundo merong foul dito sa ilalim i think it should be on Junjun Putsubre They sign inbound on your screens, Jonathan Aldave. Gozun. Mintis doon. Nakuha ni Janus Tosada. Nagmamadali ngayon. Ray Ray Parks filling the lane, scooping, getting the foul. Napakadali nung, ano, nung atake sa kanya. Itong si Ray Parks was jogging along. Once he took the ball, used his long legs, made one gigantic stride, uh -huh. not needing to dribble, finishes, na foul nga lang, now he gets two points from the line. I remember his dad, the late great Bobby Parks. Yeah, I think it was the last time that he played with uh, the Shell franchise. May ganun play din, pag nabibigyan, eh, dinadunk pa rin. Oo. Oh, oh. Dinadunk talaga. <laughs> At maganda tingnan kung paano tumakbo ng fast break. Hindi kailangan sprint 100% oh, oh. all the time. Pagtangan mo lang ng bola is make that huge step giving you advantage over the defender para makalibre ka for a layup. And running your lanes, di ba? Uh -oh. Stay in your lanes, doon ka mabibigyan ng bola. Boyet Bautista ngayon. Kamikada ng tres. And he dialed it and he booked it. Boyet Bautista. 38 well, to 17 ngayon. Napakahirap kasi for ano eh, passing. Ooh, offensive. <laughs> Medyo <laughs> malakas yung bigay doon kay Boyet Bautista ni Sian Lim, ha? Yeah, that's another situation. Na, kasi napakalaking tao itong si Sian Lim. Laking katawan at nabangga niya napakaliit. Sian Lim should adjust. Hindi lahat babanggain ng malakas. Uh -huh. Ngayon natin dahil itong si uh, Boyet Bautista. 
hindi rin to basta-basta uh, player. Ito yung, ito yung mga uh, in-scout namin noon. Eh. I remember Boyet was one of the most fearless guards in the NCAA. Sila nila Aaron Abad, Boyet Bautista. Sila yung mga matitibay noon. Ray Ray Parks forward pass dito. Easy-easy basketball. Lala kay Jopet Kiro. At yung court awareness ni Ray Parks, ha? nakatalikod siya sa pagkuha niya ng bola, but he knew he had a teammate running. I guess that's also an un... Ooh! I thought they were gonna call oh, offensive no, no, interference, ano? Dahil home... I think with our home rule, uh, ang rules natin is based on the FIBA rules. You could uh, hold on to the ball basta nasa taas ng uh, rim. Ah, diba, pa, sa FIBA, Coach JV, every time somebody shoots, pwede mong sweep basta yes. nasa loob ng cylinder. Oo oh, nga. Yep. Ayan, no? nakatalikod siya, but he knew. Oh, drop it, Kiro. Yan ang understanding mo among your teammates that you know, pag may nakataka, somebody's gonna run the break either side, whether right or left. Every time they have a steal, somebody's running the lanes to receive an outlet pass. At uh, of course, mga nakatutok sa atin sa dorm, ang uh, UST Women's Basketball Team ni Coach Heidi Ong at ni Coach Sandy Sanko and of course si Kikay Gandala na laging naka nanonood sa atin via live stream. Magandang gabi sa inyo dyan, girls. At uh, nahandle ko rin sila for some time with the uh, USC Women's Basketball Program. Their former coach, Coach uh, uh, Japs Kuan, is with the uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre team. Was that the time with Chris Canton? Chris yes, Cantonos? Coach Chris Cantonos. Uh -huh. Yeah, Coach also, di ba? I was with him then. Well, good evening sa inyo. Well, ang puso ko talaga para sa basketball oh. women. Eh. Yun ang gusto ko talaga. Drop it, Kiro. Nakakuha rin ang isa pang fast break. Ito, ganda nung uh, stop nila. Ray Ray Parks again. Getting a steal. And a fast break. Touchdown para kay Jopet Kiro. Si Spire muna tayo. Namamaga pa rin itong lamang ng Mandalo yung El Tigre. Which stands at 43.90. Okay, we are back with our Baywatch scam. So smile as you are seen on our Baywatch scam. Come on, lovely ladies. Flash the killer smile. And for our mga nagagandahang MPBL fans. Ito, pinapakita nga yung mga base natin dito. Pero alam mo, Coach JV, ang pinaka-base talaga, si Carmina. At saka syempre si Marla na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Wow. My two beautiful girls. Nasa bahay, nanonood via live stream. Eh, si Lola. Eh, Lola, Lola. Eh, of course, my grandmother, Dr. Yeah. Maria Paz Diogali of the Quezon City Red Cross. Talagang lagi tayong pinanonood yan. Paborito ko niyang analyst, Coach JV. Salamat po. Good evening po sa inyo. Talagang nanonood sa atin at... Uh, Nagtataka ba't hindi pa rin nananalo yung favorite team niya? Sabi ko, hindi, hindi, naman, hindi, hindi rin ako naglalaro doon. Hindi ko rin alam yung sagot eh. Mamaya, malalaman natin kung makakakuha na sila ng panalo. Pero ito, Ray Ray Parks na nakakuha na naman ng uh, foul. Balik siya sa free throw line. You know, given the situation right now, 42-19 ang ating score, the biggest advice I could give Pasig is tuloy pa rin ang paglaban. Practice your place. Try to... Uh, make adjustments on defense. Make use of this game to prepare for your next. Do not give up. Mahaba pa ang ating second half pa. Kayang lumamang ng ganitong kalaki. Ang mandalo yung kaya nyo rin habulin pagdating ng second half. Do not give up. Never say die. Ano paborito mo? Never say die talaga. It's not oh. giving up. Kirk Vista, the soccer play, football player. Third, uh, basketball. Dahil ako gamitin soccer pag ikaw ang kasama ko dahil uh, you would feel offended. Hindi <laughs> 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 naman. Kurt Vista played for the College of St. Benil Blazers. Won a championship with their uh, football program. Boy, Bautista for three. That's for the jump shot. Nasa loob yun ang guhit. Pero may foul pa dun sa ilalim. May girian. But, 
Ganda. Alam mo, so much memories talaga dito sa ating venue. But more than that, outside, tinitignan ko yung... Dati tawag namin football field. Uh -huh. Eh di ba, football pitch na ngayon. Uh -huh. Kasi dati siguro field talaga yan uh -huh. eh. Oo, ngayon pitch na yung... Uh, ngayon inaayos na nila. So, yan, yan ang tamang term. It's the pitch. Pitch. Uh -huh. Dati kasi, panahon ko na, football field nga eh. On your screen, sa mga supporters ng uh, Pasig Pirates. Pero alam mo, uh, Coach JB, tayo, malapit tayo sa basketball. Diyan sa Ormok, si Coach uh, Jerry Abuyabar, isa sa mga SBP officials natin for, I think, Region 8 yan. May, mga, may clinics nitong upcoming weeks. Uh, magandang gabi po sa lahat na nanonood sa atin dyan sa Ormok. Uh, I think, uh, iba na yung sa, hindi na Bisaya, eh, parang oray yata sa atin. I, I'm not sure. Pero uh, magandang gabi po sa mga nakatutok dyan. At of course, ang, ang Southwestern University Athletic Director, si Coach Mike Reyes. Mike Reyes, uh, my former teammate oh. and classmate. Yes. Mga Ateneo boys, yes. <laughs> magandang uh -huh. gabi. And we're Coach Jerry Abuyabar is coaching. Ma ma maayong gabi eh, dyan sa Cebu. Sa mga nanonood, kung meron kayong mabalita ang basketball clinic, make your kids get involved. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon, puro computer lang. Get involved in any way possible oh, exactly. that can keep the kids active. Kanina nga, Coach G, pinag-uusapan natin na pabisita ka rito, napapunta rin na ako. Madalas din ako pumupunta rito sa Ateneo. Ibang-iba eh, it's, it's uh, a fertile soil for athletic development dahil laging may activities after school. Nagmamaneho ka papunta sa high school, nandiyan siya yung covert courts, yeah. ang, uh, ang football field, ang pitch nila, uh, meron mga naglalaro kahit hapo na mga naka-uniforme pa. Oo nga, lahat talaga active, ano? in every kind of sport that they have. Uh, napakaganda. Minsan nga may makikita ka dito, may teams na mga frisbee naman, ang nilalaro. Oh, ultimate naman. Oo, uh, diba? Nakakatawa. Eh, everything and anything that keeps the children active, sumali, ipasali nyo po. Lalo na dyan sa Urmok, meron tayong basketball pick, sumali po kayo. Take advantage of the opportunities given by these uh, former uh, coaches uh, dyan sa inyong lugar. At, uh, happy viewing and happy birthday kay Senor Francisco Pimentel. Ayan, mga ligayang bati po sa inyo at sa mga uh, OR staff ng uh, Providence Hospital. Mga magandang, magandang gabi. Enjoyin nyo itong laban na ito, ang uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre, labang pa rin ang dalawang put anim, 47-21. At hindi sila makastring ng uh, atake, so, hindi sila makakuha ng magandang opensa, Coach JV. Eh. Oo nga, napapansin ko, they're, they're trying to break a press by passing in the middle of the court. Oftentimes, you'd see other teams na sa wing at may isang big man na nakatayo sa gitna, uh, playing post, dito pa lang sa kalahati. And then, everybody starts the motion. It seems, kailangan mag-adjust ata itong passing. Subukan nila sa wings ang dadaan at may isang big man to distribute, accepting the receiving the ball uh -huh. sa gitna. Pinipilit nila yung high-low eh. Uh -huh. Ang nahaba ng big guys. At an makakapal yung katawan ng player sa Mandaluyong. Yes. Kaya every time na makakakuha man si Birdzone Franco sa ilalim, dalawang singlapad niya, o minsan mas malapad pa yung nakakalaso na sa kanya. Wala, ipit na kagad. Dapat na puntos para kay uh, Marlon Monte. Ibing lang 5 points, 2 minuto, 31 segundo ang nalalabi dito sa ating first half. Timeout muna ang Mandaluyong El Tigre. dito sa ating aksyon. At uh, dalawampot, apat pa rin na puntos itong uh, lamang ng Mandaluyong. 
Ito, nakakuha sila ng isang stop. Boy at Bautista ngayon. Pilitin ang filler sa lane. Supalpal ang inabot nito ni Marlon Monte. Pero may contact sa baba. Sa katawan, yes. Oh. Sayang, ano? Ito si Kirk Vista matatawagan ng uh, foul. Yung sa atake na yun, ayun, no? Bola sa taas, katawan sa baba. Oo. Oh. Uh, ito, two free throws para kay uh, Marlon Monte. Si uh, ang Maligrito family nanonood sa atin at uh, kaarawan din ni Tita Nelly Maligrito. Magandang gabi Tita Nelly. At uh, yung uh, masasarap na luto diyan sa bahay nyo, wow. talagang uh, ready ready na 'yan. Diyan sila sa Marikina. Pasa muna natin kay uh, Jana Lianes. Jana. Kirk Vista from Mandaluyong LT Tigre is my friend off court at message pa niya ako kahapon na excited siya dahil sabi ni Coach Mack na makakapasok siya sa laro today. Pero sabi ni Kirk, no hard feelings na nabench siya the last two games dahil mas experienced daw talaga ang teammates niya. Kirk played soccer his whole life dahil nung bata daw siya, he said he was too small to play ball. Pero ang edge niya for this game, kahit iba ang fundamentals daw ng dalawang sport, soccer taught him to conserve his energy and stay conditioned. Martin and JV? Nakikita mo naman na uh, yung footwork talaga ni Kirk Vista ang magdadala sa kanya dito. Dahil uh, soccer, football, it's it's a uh, 90 minute game of up and down action. Oo nga. Kaya alam mo, I, I, I could relate to what uh -huh. happened because like when I first entered basketball coming from football, medyo hirap ang coaches sa akin because I didn't know how to dribble but they would make use of me because I would run, play defense, get rebounds. Effort plays eh. Effort natural plays. natural sa'yo yun. Oo, oh, oh, kasi takbo ka lang ng takbo. Pero wag mo na ako pasutin ha, wala akong alam doon. Layups ang gusto ko, steal yan ang gusto ko. At yun ang, uh, yun yan, sinasabi ng mga kakaparehas kong conditioning coaches, the best fundamentals for you to learn sports is First, learn how to swim. It's a life yeah. skill. Oh. Play, see, play football, so you would have that lower extremities. And of course, on our screens, uh, basketball of operations head, Coach Algeria Lupik, uh, and Assistant Commissioner Satar Makantal. Yeah, pero, uh, swimming in football. Swimming in football. Uh, and for hand-eye coordination, it's table tennis. Oh. Oh. Actually, anything with a racket is uh -huh. good. Mga iba kasi ako kasi pagka mga controlled sports, may racket, may bat, hindi ko na sinusubukan. Hindi eh. na, na. Lagi ako dun sa may, may aggression uh -huh. level na mataas. Eh. Ako, actually, mahina rin ako sa racket sport. Eh. Ito, Richard Burgess. Maganda yung uh, bailout pass na yun ni Marlon Monte. And he gets two free throws of that drop pass. Uh, one of the rare times, you know, that uh -huh. they go strong and get rewarded by going on the line. But previously, nakapag, ano, nakapag, nag-miss lang at nakuha ni Franco ang offensive rebound coming off free throws. And I think, sinasabi ni Kawila na first Vista ang fouls. Hindi siya. That's the second. Two free throws for Richard Francis. Offensive rebound story natin. Pasig has 12. Mandaluyong 3. Pakakapagtaka, no? 12 nga ang rebound nila, pero hindi nila nakoconvert. Sayang naman. Yes, yeah, we see Commissioner uh, Kenneth Doremdes wearing the contrasting color of the home team. <laughs> oh, oh, wearing man. green in Ateneo. <laughs> green in Ateneo, no? Second chance points for Mandaluyong 5. Oftentimes kasi pasok. Pasig naman, 14 points. JP Kawila getting a basket there. Uh, the Bong Milokotod, the Pinasok na. Monte, attack baseline. Kawila na kuha ng uh, turnover. Vista ngayon. Oh, so pal pal. Galing kay Virtus. Pa isa pa. Para kay Virtus. Pero Jeff Havillonar. Not stopping on that uh, play. And getting rewarded. Ito, oh, huli huli sa taas. That's it, it's something that uh, most soccer players can do. It's going vertical. Oo nga. Doon mo makikita inexperience niya to finish a layup na contested. Inextend niya yung arm. Kaya napalpal, nakabutan siya. Luckily for him, he has two beasts in the form of an abrigo and a javillanosa. Talagang dalawang player na hahataw any single time. Walang alam kundi to go all out. Ito ngayon. Ooh, Franco, lock 
Helping his man. Matatawa ka ng offensive foul. Itong si uh, Burnson Franco. Hindi na kailangan dahil maganda na yung seal niya. Eh. Oo oh, oh, nga, sayang eh. Okay lang to seal. Do not prevent to leave you, a millionaire. That's... I mean, he's never gonna allow you to just lock him up. He'll make an attempt to challenge everybody coming to the basket. Sayang. Rene Parks yun. Swings it back to Havillionar. Dials it and books it for three. So Burnson Franco. Maganda na yung seal niya. Patira na saan it. In up and under pa niya pero pasok pa rin. Rene Parks yun. Looking for the last shot. Riri, ginagawa ang traffic code yung mga kaharapan niya, pero mintis yung layup. Two seconds here. At naubusan na na oras itong uh, Pasig Pirates. 56 to 28. 28 point lead para dito. Sa Mandalo yung El Tigre, sa aming pagbabalik halftime ng inyong Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, Datu Cup. Pilipinas Basketball League Basketball na muna tayo Iwasan na ang mga bisyo Sports ang laging iisipin Sa droga ay huwag paalipin Buong bansa'y magsama-sama In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 MPBL na MPBL na Yeah, I'm not the guy.
Welcome back to the MPBL. It is halftime of our first game, Mandaluyong versus Pasig. The score is 56-28 in favor of Mandaluyong. At kasama ko ngayon ang Vice Mayor of Pasig, Vice Mayor Io Christian Caruncho Bernardo. Vice Mayor, good evening. Kitang-kita naman last year, last game, nakakaiba talaga ang home crowd nyo. Talagang napuno nyo yung venue and they really made some noise. So ano po yung reaction nyo sa support na yun? Well, again, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat po ng mga Pasigenyo dahil alam naman po ninyo na ang Pasigo ay, ay, ay mahilig po talaga sa sports. At asahan nyo po na palagi pong susuporta ang lahat ng mga Pasigenyo sa ating pong Pasig Pirates. Okay, can you invite everyone from Pasig naman to continue supporting your team? Well, again, in behalf of our city mayor, Mayor Bobby Eusebio, and the whole city council, we would like to invite each and everyone on July 26th. Doon ho ay um, home game po ulit natin at asahan nyo po na lahat to ay ibibigay ho ng ating pong Pasig Pirates para ho manalo ho sa ating pong MPBL at para po sa mga Pasigen nyo ma'am. Thank you very much Vice Mayor Iyo Christian Carucho Bernardo. We'll be back after this break. Balik tayo dito sa ating halftime. Napakalaki ng lamang ng Mandaluyong El Tigre. 56-28. Nandito pa rin tayo sa Ateneo Blue Eagle Gym. Ang ganda ng simula ng Mandaluyong Coach JV. Napakahirap nilang depensa dahil yung depensa nila ang nagpo-fuel sa kanilang opensa. Yeah, at, at, at the same time, Mandaluyong is just waiting for Pasig to make errors and they capitalize on the errors that they create. Itong Pasig. So titingnan natin. Pero maganda, Pasig was able to adjust na, na, nag-stiffen up yung kanilang uh, defense. Sadly, ito nga, Ray Ray Parks, very great at anticipating the ball. Kaya ilang, ilang steals na. Pangalawa na yan na nakita niya sa ating replay. At nakarami nga siyang steals at yung mga kakampi niya na reward din. Running the breaks, nakakakuha sila ng mga fast break layups. Nahirapan sa simula umiscore itong uh, Pasig Pirates and towards the end of the first half, doon na lang sila nakakuha ng kanilang rhythm in offense. Pero panakanaka pa rin yung dating dahil even the bench players were able to give doon sa atake ng uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre. Oo oh, nga, kahit sino ipasok dito. Ayan, oh, quick out tip kagad. Ray Ray Parks, that's why. Ang dami lang fast break points itong Mandaluyong. They really know how to capitalize and take advantage of their assets. At ito, pinaka, sabi mo nga, capitalizing assists. Labing pitong assist on 67% shooting. Well, yung, well ikokompara nga natin. Pa Pasig kasi, they go on one-on-one -on -one place and they don't look They don't look to pass every time they make an attempt. Turnovers, 14 turnovers. Dito sa ating Mandaluyong, 17 for, ano, for uh, passing. Scoring situation, Bobby Ray Parks, 13 points. Avillonar, 7. Vidal, 6. Uh, Franco, 6 points for passing. With Monte, 6. Bautista and Aurelio with 5. At uh, kalat kalat niyang scoring. Uh, sa aming pagpumalik, ang third quarter, this is still your MPBL Datu Cup.
Bad balik tayo dito sa laro. Nakakuha ng offensive foul. Pantalo yung El Tigre. At Janos Lozada nag-ambag ng isang three-point shot pa sa simula ng ating third quarter. I'm surprised. Biglang nag-relax na naman ang defense nitong passing. Ano? Iniwan nila si Lozada to take that easy three-point attempt. Si Brigitte nga ito. Walang nakatingin. One of the rare occasions that Ray Ray Parks like third over of the fast break. Ronja Enrile in rhythm for three. Kumalugya, Diana Brigo. And with that rebound and uh, Prince Rivero. Hey, Cherry picking. Mga ilang segundo kaya yung mula ng ano, yung uh, save ni Abrigo to the layup. Oh, okay. napakabilis na. Wala pa tatlong segundo oh, yeah. yun. Apat. Oo oh, nga. Oh, At the most and the... Uh, Laki na itong labang na kinakaharap nila ngayon. It stands at 33. Ronja and Rile, putting in moves. Going through the whole bag of tricks itong si Ronja. And Ray Ray taking contact. At, uh, sinalo na nga ni Coach Banjo Calpito itong si uh, Ray Ray Parks. Oh, may unsportsmanlike foul dito. Si uh, Ronja and Rile. I think that's more of frustration rather than anything else, ano? Because even if, sa start pa lang ng ating quarter, unang nangyari sa kanila sa kanilang possession, eh, error. Ito makikita natin. They try everything that they can do. Mga oh, sportsman-like foul. May langaw siguro na tinatapik oh, lang na abutan. That, that would be... Uh, Two shots plus ball possession. Alam mo, kanino ka pinaka... Isa pa, ayaw mo makakuha ng unsportsmanlike foul sa laro at sa... Isa pa, sa misis mo. At yung mga kaibigan nating nanonood. Yeah. Asama yung mga misis nila, si Jess and Paula Santos, si uh, Mix and Al Alexa Alabastro, and of course, ang aking uh, kuya, Kuya Mike, Big Mike, and Ruth Casino. Nasa Cagayan de Oro, pati ang The Guplo family, nanonood, Makorol family, magandang magandang gabi po sa inyo at uh, ay kung pamilya ba mga support ayun bro babatiin natin mga MPBL MPBL referees natin may mga pamilya rin yan the uh -huh. family Cuidad Cuidado family Quadras family Midena family Hasmin G Serapia from the ano MPBL referees kaya mga MPBL referees ganadong tumawag para mabati ang kanilang mga minamahal oh, and yung na mga nakasuporta rin sa atin sa iba't ibang sulok ng mundo mga nanonood sa atin via live stream sa official MPBL sa facebook.com sa instagram at official MPBL yan din ang ating twitter handle sa New Jersey Yan, si Mayet and Kiara Alabastro. Magandang umaga po sa inyo. At uh, si Richard and Je Jenny Guevara. Ang mga mag-asawa mag talaga nanonood. Pabanding ng pamilya. Jonathan Boholano. Maganda ang depensa. Nag-ambag pa ng three-point shot. The floodgates has opened. Well, that was his second attempt. Ano? Yun, makikita natin. Abrigo once again getting the offensive rebound. Giving his teammates another chance. At maba, oh, siyempre, mabibilangan din. Ray Parks, assist doon. Another one, probably now. Oh, hindi lang naipasok ni Lozada. Aron siya yung pili para sa rebound. Nagmamadali dito, naagawa ni Prince Rivero. Pero may foul doon si Prince Rivero. Doon sa tapik. You know, we can see talaga yung, ito, ito, it's the ball is being bringing brought down no attempt to make a pass to quicken the offensive threat against Mandaluyong and there's another unsportsmanlike foul alam mo sayang ang oportunidad Martin kasi passing should understand okay so they're down by this much 40 na yata magit or a little less than 40 and what they need to do is just to practice now use this as a practice session 
for their next game. Sayang yung oportunidad. You have a great team to practice with. At uh, pasa muna natin kay Gianna Lianes para sa isang update, Gianna. Before they exited for halftime, isa sa mga assistant coaches ng Pasig Pirates approached me and said na hihirapan daw talaga sila sa game today dahil may sakit ang kanilang home gunner na si Kenneth Karongoy. Bago mag-umpisa yung game today, we tried to talk to Kenneth and he really didn't want to talk because he was really not feeling well. Sinubukan pa rin niya maglaro during the last quarter but he couldn't keep up. Kaya sinusubukan ngayon ni Coach James mag-adjust. Mag Back to you guys. Mahirap ngayon maglaro ng may sakit. Kahit na anong pagpag mo eh. Yes, I understand, no? I, that's a given already kung may sakit. But everybody else will just play their game and focus on doing what should be right and should be proper in preparation for their next game. Sayang eh. Two free throws para dito kay uh, Janus Losada. At ang mga kaibigan natin sa Tacloban, sa Leyte, si Anthony at si uh, Nikki Salamia. At uh, mag-birthday uh, na kalanak si Nixon Cray. Happy birthday. Pero ito, nagiging highly physical na itong uh, laro natin. And uh, Mandalu yung enjoying. 38-point lead. Trying to make that 40. They actually made it 40. Abrigo once again, you know, giving them second chance points. Mabati ko lang, Honorable uh, Carmelita A. Abalos, City Mayor of Mandaluyong. Nandito po siya with uh, Councillor Charis A. Vargas. Good evening po sa inyo. At sila ay very excited in full support sa kanilang oh. team, Honorable Carmelita Abalos. Uh, and, uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre playing inspired basketball. And uh, Reading Parks really in control of this ball game, maximizing his teammates, putting them in spots that they could, they could uh, actually help their team. Oh, nga, simple. Nakatayo lang siya sa gitna. Nobody's actually harassing it. Itong si Ray Parks. There's a technical on Ray Ray Parks. the second infraction of uh, delaying the game. And Kenneth Karongoy on that uh, free throw. And uh, Coach Makua napapailing na lang doon. Alam mo, Coach uh, JV, Coach Mak. Mac Juan has been sporting that long hair even before the man bun was uh, uso. Oh, ganun na katagal. And I was, I was fortunate enough to interview him through uh, our, our radio show sa DZMM. And uh, nakakatawa, pinag-usapan namin yan. Uh, he, he kept it kept it going dahil uh, there was something uh, parang lucky pahiyang. Pahiyang sa kanya. Pero si Ray Park, so lang pahiyang-pahiyang dito sa mama na ito. Pouring it on. And the travel. Dito kay Mix Castellano. Well, right now, Pasig is more focused on doing extra motions, you know, doing extra things that are not helping them whatsoever. Castellano wasn't even being challenged, and he makes a move that cost him the procession. Rolano ngayon. Rivero. Corner pass kay Boholano. Long rebound na kuha ni Monte. Forward pass dito kay Karongoy. Paying the contact and finishing with a foul. Foul on the ball, Ray Parks. Ray, Ray Parks telling his teammate, don't foul him because he was about to challenge the shot. Probably block. And then Ray Parks has actually, you know, gone for those high leaping blocks. In previous games, Boholano should know better. Uh, young Springs. Oh. Uh -huh. It's the Young Hops. Ganyan ako dati eh. Uh, ang, ang kwento nga, ikaw daw yung unang uh, high school na dumok dito sa Blue Eagle. Pero uh, hindi, hindi yeah. ko nagsabi. Ang kaibigan natin na si Kuya Rick Oliveros. Olivares. Uh, Olivares, sorry. Yes. Kuya Rick, uh, alam ko sinulat mo yung libro ni Coach Baby Dalupan. Three-point field goal si Walo para sa Mandaluyong. 
And uh, dalawa para sa Pasig. Pero uh, kaya Ricky, paki-tweet nga ako at i-confirm kung tumang pa talaga <laughs> yung JV Gayoso in-game. Game situation yun. Game situation. Naman, situation. Pass break. Yan pa ang yung nasa kanang court natin sa ating, ano, sa ating uh, TV. Yung nasa kanan. Yan yun. At... Uh, Bago pa nagkaroon ng harang sa covered courts na si Jack Chia, si Coach JV Gayoso yung nangharang sa lang. covered courts eh. Hindi, hindi pa snapback. <laughs> hindi pa, nung, hindi na, pa snapback. Hindi pa snapback. nga mga balat ko sa daliri. Hindi pa snapback yun. Oo, dahil, uh, ngayon, Boyet Bautista on the kick out. Dahil ito, uh, Ray Ray Park still getting. Ooh! A charge. On uh, Riri. Ray Ray. Oh, yeah, fourth big foul there for the Mandaluyong El Tigre. Just attack the football carry. Pag ball over, mukhang sumage. And the 15 points ngayong quarter na to. Ang uh, Mandaluyong. 15 to 1. Oh, 15 to 1. Uh, Ganun na naman naging, naging tema sa simula ng... Uh, Atake talagang nakakakuha ng magandang buwelo itong uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre. Franco ngayon, nasa ilalim, mintis yung tira. Prince Rivero, nauuna na. And wisely. Bump faking for his eighth point of the ball game. Oo nga, matagal siyang nakaupo earlier. But Mandaluyong is no longer challenging shots. Masyado lang nagmamadali itong passing. Another turnover. Favoring Mandaluyong. Oh. Riri Parks niyo. Ito sa ilalim. Binabasag nila yung zone. Swings it to Boholano, Prince Rivero. On the short corner. Libre-libre si Janos Lozada for three. Ito siya, Riri Parks for the offensive rebound. And... Uh, a foul there. It's a pagbagsak ni uh, Burns on Franco. Well, you know, Martin, I don't advise Ray Ray Parks to do moves like that because lamang na sila keep himself away from any other contact because they will make it difficult for him to score on an easy basket. There you go. Coming down. Challenging that shot by Ray Parks. Uh, pasa muna natin kay uh, Gianna Lianes. Gianna. Martin and JV, gaya ng sabi nyo kanina, si Ray Ray Parks is in control of this game. At nakatulong daw talaga ang panalo nila from last game. Naniniwala siya na maganda yun, win na yun para sa kanilang team morale. At mas na-establish na ang on-court chemistry with his team. He says, as team captain, it's important to be friends with everyone. His biggest advice to his teammates, in his words, stay focused by being in sync with the coaches. Back to you guys. And uh, that's an unsportsmanlike foul on Birds on Franco. So there's a pair of free throws for the uh, Parks and Ball Possession. Uh, Isidra Pacquiao and uh, Ramil Patay na nanonood sa atin. Si General Santos, three point field, third quarter field goals rather. Zero out of six pa rin ang Pasig. We're gonna set history here, Marty. Mukhang ito yata ang lowest output per quarter kung hindi pa sila makascore. Three Ray Parks pa rin nasa loob, Mabillionaire. May gusto nilang pasagin yung zone na yan na ipinapakita ng Pasig Pirates. John Vidal continuing that onslaught of the bench. And the lead is 38. Right now, check that. 48 right now. Timeout ng uh, Pasig Pirates. proceed here at the official stable and we are back here with our Baywatch scam 
showing the lovely ladies here at the MPBL. Come on, lovely ladies, show your killer smile. And you are seen at the MPBL Baywatch scale. Balik tayo dito sa ating laro. Tamang ng 48 itong uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre. Marlon Monte aatake. Sobra yung tira, tapikan. Nakukuha ni JP Kawilan. John Vidal, low pass dito kay Kawilan. Dite sa billionaire, nasa ilalim, matatapik. Last touch dito ang uh, Pasig Pirates. At para sa mga nag exercise Power 8, the official hydration partner of the MPBL Datu Cup. Ayan, alam mo, Coach JV, as we see the Pasig Pirates get this fast break, their first uh, field goal in the third quarter. Alam namin nag-ehersisyo uh, ngayon, lalo na dyan sa Philippine Air Force uh, Fitness Center nila. Nanonood sa atin si Ian De Los Santos, Raynon Saka, at ang napakapait kong kaibigan, hindi makulit, si Narayan Javier. Wala, walang kakulit-kulit yan. Uh, saludo kami sa inyong serbisyo, mga tropa. Lalo na mga kasama natin sa AFP. Sir, Sir Mike Ignario, Sir, uh, si, uh, Sir Eric Abalos, at si Sir Paul Yamamoto. Iba-ibang mga departamento yan ng AFP. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. Masarap mag-workout pag may pinapanood yung mga Ay, basketball naman. game. Eh, no? Any sport actually that exactly. you watch. Habang nag-workout, di ka tatama rin. Eh, parang sumasabay ka lang. Ako kasi hindi ako napapa-workout, napapanood na lang ako. Maybe. Ako naging habit ko yun. I can't work out unless I watch something that is exciting also. Paambun-ambun lang ang uh, mga dating ng uh, puntos para dito sa Pasig Pirates. May isa pang free throw. Every opportunity na makakuha ka ng extra point, sayang. Exactly. Yeah, nice one. Additional point. Fourth point yan, I believe, sa ating quarter for uh, Pasig Pirates. Naluyo ngayon, sinusubukang uh, dagdagan pa itong kanilang lamang. It stands at 44, Ray Ray Parks, extra pass dito. Kay Kawilan, bong pinukutod. Forcing that turnover. Pero wala pa rin, hindi nila na-convert. Kawilan ngayon. Nasa kay John Vidal, atake sa ilalit, palobong tira. Ganda na laro ni John Vidal, ha? Sampung yep. puntos na. At uh, kanina pa nananala sa off the bench. Well, confidence talaga ni Vidal is up because he's been running the breaks and on occasion, nakakapuntos pa siya penetrating. That's another example oh. there. Franco, talagang mamadali lang siya sa kanyang ano, eh, no? tira. Dami kasi galaw eh. Dami pang extra. Ay, parang mabubuo na si Gigi uh, Monteclaro pero matatawagan pa siya ng foul. I mean, Ray Park is no longer challenging to block the shot. Uh -huh. It's just there and everybody's intimidated. Yan ang presence alone. That's what, you, that's what Ray Park's presence can do to anybody trying to attack on offense against him. Palit ng tao dito. Razon para kay Monte. At Ray Ray Parks, triple-double. 19 points, 10 boards, 10 assists, 7 steals. Gusto pang kumadruple-double. Kaya nga eh. Kaya pala ibinababad dito. Counted kaya yun kung mag-error siya ng sampo. What triple-double, ano? 10 errors. Kailangan na natin isipin. Nothing wrong eh. Kasi lamang na sila ng ilang puntos eh. <laughs> Bong Melocoton. Bayan ng tira. Ito, galing sa coaching staff ng Quezon City Capitals. Balik sa paglalaro. 
Vamos a Pasig Pirates. Ganyan lang, just keep scoring lang every possession. Don't rush it. You're down anyway. So might as well take your time but go strong to the basket Aha. para maipuntos nyo. John Vidal kicks it out of Hawila. Meron siya tira na ganyan. Pero ni Tess, Froy Sakilio para sa rebound. Hindi kimante klaro ngayon. Monteclaro, aatake, supalpal kay Zandre Alabanza. Nakuha pa rin lang bola. Monteclaro, extra pass. Roy Sakinio sa short corner. Timeout muna tayo rito. Labang mo ng uh, 41. Ang uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre. Balik tayo rito sa ating laro. Team Coordinator Emer Oreta. Enjoying the action right now. So malaki nga itong labang ng uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre at napakaraming mga fans natin dito watching live sa Blue Eagle Gym. And then, uh, the women are enjoying, the kids, and the players. Isang minuto, dalawampung segundo ang nalalabi. Dito sa ating third quarter. Sisingit lang ako ng trivia sa'yo, Martin. Okay. Ano mo ba ang pangalan ng gym na ito bago naging ano? Blue Eagle? Ano? Blue Eagle na kasi inabutan ko nung nag-SBB kami nila, Jai Reyes. Eh. That hurts! That hurts! <laughs> Aray! Okay. Ano, Same anong, play ka lang, ha? Ano, anong... Uh, Loyola Center. Loyola Center. Yan. Oo, panahon ko yun. Brown pa ang bola nun. Brown uh -huh. pa. Actually, ang flooring dito, brown pa yan. Pati yung bola nga, brown. Maple wood pa ang tawag sa oh. kulay. Traveling violation para kay JP. Yan yung mga tipo may mga pako pa na nakalitaw. May mga patay na bo, may mga patay na spots mag nag-dribble. Sa totoo lang. Those were the days, Coach JP. Ako inabutan ko na kasi, I think I was, the first time that I was able to play here, it was SPP. The batch mates were Jai Reyes and... Chris Chu, those were the times that we were we were in primary school. And Sian Lim, balik sa laro. And nagahanap pa rin ang kanyang unang basket dito. Roy Sakilio. Pinihita si Sian Lim, patukot na tira. Playground move there by Roy Sakilio, former San Sebastian Golden Stag. Getting his first basket of this game. Ito na, kuha ng stop ang Pasig Pirates. Nicky Monteclaro. Ganda nung baseline cut. Inapot na lang dito para kay Richard Virches. Kapat na sunod na puntos. Pabasa 39 itong lamang. Well, mukhang nagpakita ng sigla pa lalo itong... Oh, there's a technical foul. Well, the action happened right in front of us. Oh, and the person who initiated the... He was the one actually who initiated it. Nag-retaliate lang itong si Torres. So, maganda makita natin on the replay. Ah. Pero uh, mukhang uh, mag... Uh, ang tawag dito, tenga. Ito yung replay natin. Ah. Pagpasa, biglang nala. Pero, bumol pressure lang naman. Kumapik. Yun. Oh. Hindi naman, hindi naman sa jack. Talagang bumoball pressure lang. Sumobra lang yung kamay. So, medyo nagsasalita pa silang dalawa. Tinechnical tuloy sila. Well, kasama naman kasi talaga sa laro yan. Tatamaan at tatamaan ka. Oo nga. 
Kasi po mall pressure lang naman coach eh. What I don't I don't think was right was Melocoton actually came closer again. Oo, oh, yung pangalawa. Yun yung talaga yung pang technical. Pero yung uh -oh. pro measure ka, tapos may release ball, tinapik mo, tumama, walang tawag ang referee. Yes. Ganun talaga yun eh. Kasama sa laro yun eh. Pero ito tignan natin kung ano yung tawag nating referees. Ball technical foul on number 7 of Pasig. Ball Melocoton, that's his first. And number 24, Axel Torres, that's also his first foul. Uh -oh. Dahil uh, 37 na ngayon lamang, ayaw na natin makita yung mga ganun towards the end of the third quarter. Pero ano yung paboritong sinasabi ng coach mo? Pag mga ganyan, sabihin mo sa akin, Coach JV. Never say that. Hindi, hindi. May isa, may isa, may isa. Kung ayaw mong masaktan. Ayan, mag-chess ka na lang. Oo, yan. Narinig ko yan sa isang huddle. Naaalala ko yun. Rookie year ni Kuya Marlu. It was the first time that I was watching the PBA live. Pinala ko sa Araneta Coliseum. Yan, timeout kayo nun eh. Narinig ko lang. Ito yun, isa yun sa mga ano ni Coach Joe. Uh -huh. Ito, marami pang uh, kwentuhan at uh, breakdown ng laro ang maririnig ninyo dito pagdating ng fourth quarter, end of third. Ito ang mga ilan sa ating mga highlights. 80-43, matatapos ang ating quarter. At uh, ito, Ray Ray Parks, maganda ang mga tira. Magandang uh, numero across the board But, uh, sa ating pagbubulik, fourth quarter. At uh, may special interview si Gianna Leales. Actually, ngayon na pala ang interview ni Gianna. Gianna, sino ang kasama mong importante? Yes, Martin and JV. Kasama ko ngayon to support her home team, Counselor Charisse Abalos of Mandaluyong. So why did you decide to come here today uh, to support your home team? Yes, hi. Actually, um, we are very excited because finally in this season, nagkaroon na rin ang franchise ng Mandaluyong City. And um, talagang we really uh, went out of our way to make sure that we are here to support our team. We want to make a statement and really say that the LT Tigre team is here to stay and be strong and have a strong pre pre uh, presence here in MPBL. And as you can see, maganda ang performance ng LT Tigre today. So, pwede mo ba bigyan sila ng mensahe to continue encouraging them to perform this well for the rest of the season? And sure, to the Mandaluyong LT Tigre, we're very proud of you. Mandaluyong may be a small city, but we're very passionate, especially when it comes to sports and basketball. So keep it, keep up the good work and uh, good luck this season. Thank you very much, Councillor Therese Abalos of Mandaluyong. Back to you, Martin and JV. At uh, ayan, narinig natin si uh, Councillor uh, Therese Abalos. Team standings natin, papiawan natin. Nandito tayo ngayon sa North Division. Ang Mandaluyong, one and one, coming from a win. Ang Pasig Pirates, nagahanap pa rin ng kanilang unang panalo. Oo, at uh, mukhang magiging questionable sa ating uh, gabi, sa gabing ito. Pero ang games tomorrow, Martin. Oh, mas maaga, alas 5.30 magsisimula yan sa nga. Dakota Sports Complex. Davao kontra Bataan sa unang laro, sa pangalawang laro. Ang Laguna Heroes, babibisita sa bahay ng Dakota City Clutch. Axel Torres ngayon na may hawak ng bola. Maganda quarter scoring. Lalalimadong yamado ang Mandaluyong. Jeff Habilio na ang ampag pa na three-point shot doon. Ayan ang John Ray Alabanza for the rebound. Ito medyo loose na naglalaro itong Mandaluyong dahil 40 points. And field goals, ang rami nang itinira. Mawala lang ang na-shoot pero talagang malaki na yung naipundar nilang abante nung first half eh. CLM for three. That's his fourth point, the first field goal that he converted. At talagang sumenyas pa sa kanyang mga fans, ano? At ito, makakuha pa ng forward pass yun. Axel Torres, mintis nga lang yung layup. Paminsan-minsan kasi you take things for granted sa sobrang laki na laklamang. Oo, yung mga libre nga. Yung basics ng basketball na ipaport mo na lang. Jeff Avignonar, wow. Walang pigil, ano? Natural lang sa kanya. Oh! Sayang yung possession na yun. Axel Torres, cross-court dito kay John Vidal. Si Andin, susubok kumuha na isa pa press. Set sa screen right now. Si Anim, supalpal dito kay Richard Burtzes. Ang 
nakakakuha na ng bola itong passing pero paminsan-minsan na build na nawawala pa sa kanila oh. at yung mga tinitira nila medyo uh, masama as we see that 3 point shot by Sian Lim from top of the key and then backspin may tira rin tala oo nga not the nicest looking type of a shot but it, it's effective for Masuk naman for him you know, ah, Coach JB, one of the most lopsided games since uh, nanalo ang Paranaque contra sa Bulacan last March 27 sa game 2 ng quarterfinals ng uh, uh, Raja Cup. Atin itong labang na to. It stands at 43. Well, dito makakaagaw ang passing. Kapi ka ng bola. Pinatama ni uh, Torres sa uh, katawan ng defender. Balik ang bola dito sa Mandaluyong. At paulit-ulit nangyayari yun for passing. Ano? Nakakakuha na sila ng agaw at nawawala na pa rin sa kanila ang bola. At, uh, mga puntos na sana yun, hindi lang nakoconvert. Atake ngayon ni Jojo Kunanan, mahahataw. Balik siya dito sa ating free throw line. Napakahirap pigilin itong Mandaluyong in a full court press because they rely on passing which is the proper thing to do. They are well coached, well trained and they know what to do when the harass, harassment of their opponents come. Hindi nagmamadali. And of course, sa mga nakatutok sa atin sa ating mga bahay, magandang gabi po dyan, yung mga kapamilya natin na naghahapunan. Ang uh, pamilya Gunakaw, si uh, Jaygan, si Kagan, at si, uh, of course, ang mamagan natin na nandiyan. Um, at si uh, Sir Arnold Gunakaw. Uh, Paparo tayo naman from the Philippine National Police. Magandang gabi po sa inyo. Good evening po sa inyo. I hope you're enjoying this uh, game. Uh, maganda yan, magkakapamilya, magkakasama. It's how we bond, mga Pilipino. Kahit sa probinsya, pagka may liga, minsan magtatay, mananonood. Madalas, magtatay, magkakapatid, at magkakabarkada. At maganda nga sa pamilya, yung kansawang pa, lalo oh. na ako. Oh, hindi, lalo na pagtambak, nako. Ito na, naaalala ko nun, Coach JB, kasi ako, I, I was a Hinebra fan na yan. I still am. Nung uh, I started playing lola ko, big pure foods fan. At sa paboritong-paborito ng uh, aking uh, favorite mama ina, si Alvin Patrimonio. Pero ito, kutik pang bumanda yung tira doon ni Sian Lee, pero nakuha ni Jojo Kunanan. At nasabi mo, alas kahan. Alas kahan. Pagkalaro talaga. Oh. Hindi, ka, hindi ka talaga mananalo pag kayo mga babae sa buhay mo yung nang-aalaska sa'yo eh. Ito si Ian Lim, may maganda pang galaw. Flexing. Ito si Ian Lim. May flex pa eh, no? Oo. Oh. Pagsak dito si Kojak Benigrito. Jojo ko na natin ngayon. Mapapak, matatawa ka na lang din eh. Eddie. Corner 3. May yeah, Axel no, no. Torres. Dito sa MPBL. Sari, sari na ang nakakatuwag mga eksena. Basketball at iba pa. Dato si Ian Lim. Maganda nung galaw, flumex pa. Hindi na ipakita. Ay, ay. There you go. Hindi lang pang pamilya. <laughs> tayo mo tayo dito. <laughs> At balik tayo dito sa ating uh, laro. And of course, MPBL Tattoo Cup. You can watch us on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. 7 to 11 p.m. yan sa ABS-CBN SNA and sa live stream sa official MPBL sa Facebook.com. And follow nyo ang aming Twitter handle and Instagram handle at official MPBL. And of course, we would like to thank Powerade, the official hydration partner of the MPBL Tattoo Cup. 
great move by Franco. Twist and turn, up and under. Pinagsabay-sabay na. Jojo Kananan ngayon. Gets a handoff. Jude Bonsubre, pinalik na rin sa laro. At matatra. Merong foul dito. Ang si uh, J. Ariasa. Oh, may free throw dito, pero pasok na natin kay Jana Lianes. Jana. Isa pa na nakikita natin on our screens as an actor, dabbling now in basketball itong si Axel Torres. Dream rin niya daw itong basketball, wanting to play in college, pero losing his focus. This time, sinisigurado niya na siya ay palaging una sa practice at last na umaalis. Jokester rin ito si Axel off court. When I ask, sinong mas guapo sa kanil ni Sian? Siyempre daw si Sian. When I ask, sinong mas magaling na artista sa kanila ni Big Mac? He laughed and said, lamang daw si Big Mac, who's here sa Blue Eagle Gym but couldn't play today because of a fever. Back to you guys. Ito uh, ngayon. Balik tayo sa ating laro. Gandang matchup yun. Si Ian ano? and, and Big Mac. Si Big Mac nasa likod ng bench pala siya. Nakaupo lang. Kasimple lang siya. Nakahoodie. Uh, Ayoko nakikita si Big Mac. Lagi ako ina-Alaska eh. Si ah, oh, eh, Pakitingiti lang dyan si Big Mac pero uh, napakabait niyan. Uh, isa sa mga malalapit ko rin kaibigan at uh, ang puso niya talaga magpasaya sa tao. Alam mo, true gentle giant ika nga, di ba? That's a perfect talaga description for him. Ooh. Well, it's nice to see medyo naglaylo na ang pagiging physical ng dalawang koponan with 4 minutes and 42 remaining. Medyo tanggap na rin ang pasig. But that doesn't mean they're not going strong on offense, ah. Then the defense is still there from both clubs. Roger Indrile, balik sa ating laro ngayon. Birds on Franco, nakuha yung offensive rebound. But an offensive foul. Sana, all he needed to do was put it back up. I mean, the worst thing that could happen ay mapalpal. Kung hindi ka mapalpal, may chance ang pumasok ang tira mo rather than turning that ball over. Pero still, ha, ganda ng effort ni Franco going for those offensive rebounds. At ito, na, inaantayin lang natin na matapos itong laro dahil laki na lang na ipundar na lamang ng... Uh, He's gonna take oh, some time to catch up. Yun, eh. Laking bagay na nga. Because aside, they got the lead by scoring in the paint. And then, biglang naula na pa itong Pirates na sa mga tres na pinukol nitong Mandalo yun. Sa combination of everything. I, I'd like to ask, na, na, nakapag four point, ano? Yung um, Ray Parks, was he able to... Quadruple double? Hindi, mukhang pinahinga na siya. And it stands uh -huh. at... Uh, Eight assists. No, they are managed to 19 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and a walong steal. Walong steal. No, walong steal. Walong steal. We need to check kung walong walong steal is na ba si Ray Ray Parks. Walong steal na ba si Ray Ray Parks? Oh, that is not the makita. Disappointing performance, ano? Di imabot ang kwadro. Oh, eh, na papailing na wala lang. Naturally, at magenta kape sa lahat na nakatutok sa atin ngayon si Don Bosi ng Makati at si Ion Gayaw. Nang Abra at uh, yung ang Abra malapit din sa puso natin yan. Iklikot tayo dyan sa Cordillera Autonomous Region Athletic Association kaya Sir Edwin Dianes at uh, ang lahat ng mga nasa Abra sa kanilang kabisera sa Banggit. At uh, pitong steals na pala si Ray Ray Parks. Medyo mababa lang ko siya. Mababa, disappointing uh, naman. Sayang. Huling tatlong minuto ng ating laro. Natin natin ito si... Uh, Ray Ray Parks. Nakakatawa, no? Ganun lang ang contribution mo. Close to a quadruple double. Ayun, atake ni Budsubre na sumabit pa sa ilalim ng... Ring yung layup niya. Ito, nawalan pa ng espasyo. That's si another thing. Sana tumira na lang siya ng tres, di ba? Ini-expect niya magkaroon ng contact. Inuna pa niya ang pagiging physical. He was all alone for an easy layup. Oo, oh, at uh, ito, patapos na yung 
we're just waiting for the final score and uh, Mandaluyo marching in for their second straight win and uh, Jojo Kunanan making a layup right there. Ganun dapat ang ginawa earlier ng player ng uh, Pasig. Sayang, they do so many other extra things that aren't called for. Emptying the bench na itong si coach James Makate. Marlon Monte on the line. One of the lone bright spots. Tingnan pa natin sinasabi, Marlon Monte. Pero it has been a forgettable game for the Pasig Pirates. It is playing free throw doon. Bernson Franco. Yung mga paangat na Coach J, ginilalagyan pa ng konting extra mustard na ito ni Bernson Franco. Oo nga eh, sayang. Because that prevents him from getting an extra shot from the line. You know, sana foul end one. Ma-end one pa niya. Ito yun, but sobre, sumubok pa. Ng tres. Timeout muna tayo rito. on the Baywatch cam. Well, we are back with a minute and 51 remaining. When Super called for a foul on Franco, You know, these situations, kailangan talaga maipasok. At nasayangan na naman for passing. Every point counts. This can actually help build you up in your future games. Confidence level lang, maiangat. Full court pressure now being done by passing. Right now, basically, we're waiting for things to end. A minute and 36. At gabundok na ang lamang nitong Mandaluyong. Everybody talaga umaabang sa three-point shot ng ating star player of Mandaluyong. Tapped from the hands of Franco. Another possession for them. Monte going strong for the basket. Maganda itong performance ni Monte in the previous game. No, this time medyo na check siya. And he was actually gun shy. Another outside attempt. Percentage wise, baba ba ang field goal? Ng Mandaluyong, if they keep missing from the outside. Great defense there by Mandaluyong. Ball comes back. They've got possession once again. Unable to capitalize itong pasi. 
Hindi talaga. Yes, all throughout. And dito nagmi-miss nga pero nakakakuha pa sila. Even if they get that ball, there's another tap right there because they're very careless sa pag-alaga ng bola. And I say that with ano ha, not to disrespect itong uh -huh. team ng Pasig, but they just need to learn because you would like to see all the teams doing well dito sa MPBL. And one of the things that they need to do is protect that ball. And well, oil offensive machine itong uh, Mandaluyong El Tigre. Byron Monte, umatake pa. Nayasag for the offensive rebound, pero... So, so we're playing for the final score. 17 seconds remaining. Nakatatlong foul na rito sa si CN Dim. Ray Ray Parks enjoying the pine. Another day in the office for employee number one ng uh, Mandalu yung El Tigre. And Ray Parks has been good as advertised. She didn't break a sweat. Ito si Ray Parks. Ano and, uh, oh yeah, not breaking a sweat. Second player ever to uh, have a triple-double. At ang una natin si Andoy Estrella ng Quezon City Capitals. And uh, now it's uh, Ray Ray Parks with uh, nagpadagdag pa ng medyo masama yung defense. Ha? Pitong steals lang, Coach JV. Ito lang, I know, disappointing. Ano? Hindi maganda. But I'm joking, of course, you know, Ray Parks. Na this guy, the nice thing about that is understanding what he did. Ten assists, that's makes, mm -hmm. that, that makes his teammates ready and aware to receive a pass because very unselfish ang paglaro nitong si Ray Parks. He's willing to give that ball to build the confidence of his teammates. Hindi pa tapos dito. Pinatagal pa ang lupit na sitwasyon. At uh, huling labing tatlong segundo ng ating unang laro pa lang to, ah, sa ating uh, Thursday doubleheader. And... Uh, Mandalu yung El Tigre marches to their second win of uh, the tournament, having uh, an opening day opening day game loss. But uh, at the end of the day, 98-55, big win, statement win for the Mandalu yung El Tigre. At uh, ang ganda nga nang inilaro ng kanilang koponan. And uh, the Pasig Pirates uh, need to go back to the drawing board. Yes, we are continue lang getting in shape physically in shape alam naman ng coaching staff na yun ang kulang nila uh, put more focus on defense unite as a team because defense will get you your team into fast break situations so focus on that titingnan natin on your next game kung paano sila magpe-perform hopefully much better than tonight at uh, we're still waiting for uh, the dust to settle and pass it to Jan Alianes for our Powerade Best Player of the Game. Our Player of the Game is brought to us by Powerade, the official hydration partner of the MPBL. At our Player of the Game natin from the Mandaluyong El Tigre is Ray Ray Parks with 20 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and 7 steals. Ray Ray, throughout the entire game, you guys were leading, but we saw you still gave your 100% throughout the entirety of the game. So how did you maintain that focus? Uh, yun yung main point ni coach coming into the game. Gusto niya talaga effort. So, team did a great job today of putting in the effort and executing. Um, hopefully, mabil namin to sa next game. <laughs> At nakita rin namin na mas marami sa inyong lineup ay nakapasok sa game na to. As team captain, ano yung advice mo na binigay sa kanila before they stepped on court? Uh, laro lang kayo with confidence and alam naman na puro hard work yung ginagawa sa practice. So, ano lang to, parang gift niya na to to be able to play in the game and just to take advantage of the opportunity talaga na binigay sa inyo ng coaches. Okay, Ray Ray, meron ka bang gustong batiin? Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng sumusuporta. Hindi lang po sa akin, pati po sa buong Mandaluyo, El Tigre, Alab, Pilipinas. Um, thank you so much sa uh, mga nanood tonight. Mabas dito kay traffic po. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. Uh, just want to thank God for this opportunity to play this game. Uh, sa mga taga-Mandaluyo, nanood po, thank you po. Mga taga-Paranaque, thank you rin po. And um, never say die. Thank you very much, our player of the game, Ray Ray Parks. Back to you, Martin and JV. And there you have it. Ray Ray Parks with uh, a triple-double. And up next, uh, Kansas City Capitals and the Chensan Warriors. This is still your MPBL.
kaya Kapag may labay nagkakaisa Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Basketball na Ang bawat labay pinaghahandaan Kaya yung mayanig ang pakbakan Todo suporta ang lahat sa kanya-kanyang kubunan Basketball League!